So in 2021, I got into musicals. The first I heard about was Hamilton. Then I learned about the Book of Mormon and finally got blessed with the producers. So when I realized that tours existed, I decided in 2022 to get a season bundle to see the musicals that will be passing by my town. It was the first time that I have ever gone to see a musical live. So now that months have passed, I have decided to rank the shows that I got to see in 2022. I will be ranking these shows from worst to best. I hope that I don't offend anyone with my list. These are just the opinions of a man that thinks musicals are fun and wants to have a good time. So for number six, Tootsie. Tootsie is a musical based on a movie about an actor named Michael Dorsey who isn't getting any gigs. So he decides to cross-dress to see if he can get different opportunities as a woman. The musical story wasn't done very well in my opinion. It was just meh. It could have been done better. The sets were very small. It felt like the producers weren't confident about the money they were going to make so it looked like they shrunk the sets to its bare bones to cut costs. Leaving the stage feeling empty for big portions of the show. The lighting was okay. It didn't feel very special. The music was fine. Nothing except the overture popped out for me. I was impressed by one song that an actress had to sing. It was called What's Gonna Happen. It's about a friend of Michael's named Sandy talking about her hatred for audition and I thought the ending was very disappointing. I'm not gonna spoil it but I was surprised when the cast came to take their bow. It just left me thinking that the makers of the show didn't know how to end it so they just ended it. But everyone clapped knowing that it's not the cast or crew's fault that they were stuck performing this show. I wouldn't recommend this show to anyone 4 out of 10. Number 5. Pretty Woman Pretty Woman is also based on a movie. It's about Vivian Ward, a prostitute from LA, who is hired by Edward Lewis, a businessman. He hires her so she can join him as a date to some business functions. I enjoyed the show, besides the awkward moments where they acted out some sexual exchanges. I thought the sets looked pretty good. You really felt like you were in the streets of LA or in the Swank Hotel they were staying at. I thought they did a good job in replicating the look of a California sunset. The acting was fantastic. My favorite characters had to be the hotel manager and Julio the bellhop. Their dynamic was very funny. The music was okay, it just didn't have a very memorable soundtrack. I did like one moment when Vivian and Edward went to the opera, and the choreography was very good here. Then suddenly one of the actresses starts singing as an opera singer. She was fantastic. The ending had to be my favorite part of the show because they had finally sang Pretty Woman after teasing it earlier. So in conclusion, I would recommend the show to people that just want to have a fun night out. 8 out of 10. Okay, this I recorded a few days later because I went to go see a movie. And then I forgot to record again. Number 4. The Band's Visit The Band's Visit is about a police orchestra from Egypt that gets stuck in a desert town in Israel after some miscommunication. We follow the orchestra members through their stay while they wait for a bus to return, to take them to the right place. I really enjoyed this show, even if I might be biased. That's because this was the first show I ever got to see. The music was great. It wasn't something that I was used to because I had never heard music in this fashion. I did enjoy it enough to add some of the songs to my playlist. My favorite was Answer Me. It starts off as a solo and ends in an ensemble. It starts as a solo and ends in a ensemble. It starts as a solo and ends in an ensemble. 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 As a ensemble. It starts as a solo and ends in a ensemble. It really brought the feels. It would have made me cry if I wasn't a dead person inside. I thought the sets were great. They had a bus stop, a cafe, an apartment. It was very well done. The lighting was also very good. They gave a sense of where they were. There were parts that they spoke in Arabic, but I assume they told jokes because some people in the orchestra section were laughing. Towards the end, I thought we were going to see the orchestra perform, but the lights went down right as the conductor went to the front. But then the lights turned on and we got the chance to see each of the musicians have a solo moment. Now if I recommended it? Of course. I had a great experience and would want anyone to have the same chance I had to see it. 9 out of 10. Okay, I went to bed after doing that last one, so I'm awake now. Time to do the next one. Number 3. The Lion King. The Lion King is the final musical on this list that is based off a movie. 
This Broadway classic started its run in 1997 and since then has become the third largest running show on Broadway. Right now they are at 9,851 performances strong, knowing that I had big expectations going to see the show and it lived up to its hype. The music was great, which is obvious because it's coming from an already amazing movie. One song I loved, which they added, was called He Lives In You. I didn't know it was originally from the Broadway show, since I only knew it from the second Lion King movie. One song I didn't like like what they gave to the hyenas was called chow down it just didn't feel like it fit the show the sets were very good they had all the pieces from the movie the valley the elephant graveyard scars cave and pride rock the biggest thing about the show was the costumes i didn't really talk about the costumes for other shows since i'm sitting far back in the balcony and i can't really appreciate them from back there but with the lion king it's one of its biggest strengths I was surprised by the amount of costumes and puppets for the show, especially the elephant. It was just so big. I didn't expect it. After seeing it, I finally understood why this show will probably continue playing until the end of time. If you have a chance to see this, take your family. It won't be disappointing. I give it a 9 out of 10. So after I recorded that, I got invited to SeaWorld and spent the day there. This is recorded after that. Number 2. Hamilton. What can I say about this musical that others haven't said already? Hamilton is probably one of the greatest musical sensations ever. It holds a record number of 16 nominations at the Tonys winning 11. For comparison, it narrowly beat the 2001 production of the producers which had 15 nominations winning 12. Knowing all this before going to the show, I was definitely worried to see it. Would it live up to the expectations? Yes. This show was pure raw talent. The music was great. Hearing the show performed live was on another level. Like there's this level, then this level, and here's Hamilton's level. It's on a different level. The set was static, but used well. The importance was the choreography. From all the shows I saw this year, it had some of the best. Each move told a story, and wherever you laid your eyes, something was happening. The lighting was top-notch. Each light was stunning, giving the story a more enhanced feeling. This show was made with love, and I embraced it. If you are even able to catch some tickets, get them. You will never forget this experience. 10 out of 10. And at number 1, Hades Town. There are moments in history when things align perfectly. The talent and the luck combine to create something beautiful. And for this decade, the moment is Hades Town. Hades Town is a musical based on the myth of Orpheus and Eurydice. This tragic tale graced the stage of Broadway and poured magic into our souls. I sat down and watched, listening to what was happening before me. The set was beautiful giving out a type of Victorian era style building. At some point in the show, it changes to become something different, a portrayal of hell. The lighting was used to enhance what was happening on the stage rather than to accompany it. The choreography was something special to the show, something that can't just be plucked out and put into a different one. The music was what really brought this all together. I didn't bother to put any of the songs into my playlist because I just added the whole album. I even bought the CD at the merch section. The idea of having the musicians play on stage was a stroke of genius, making it feel like a type of jazz club. Each scene felt like a moment, no time wasted between each song. I would even call it a perfect show. I give this a 10 out of 10. It's a night that people will never forget until their deaths. And if you don't think you want to go, don't let the doubt come in. Thank you for watching my video. If you are hearing this, I definitely feel sorry for you because you had to listen to my voice for so long. But if you enjoyed it, gift me with a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have anything to say, leave a comment and I just might answer. Thank you for watching. See you next time.